Let's have a listen to this. I've been here seven years Before I heard was silence A rhapsody for you and me Just check out how bonkers this thing looks. So what we're going to be installing on this is a full sound system. And you might be thinking, well, where on earth are we going to put any of the equipment? But we're going to be showing you the whole journey. But let's start off by looking over the car at the moment as it is. So at the moment, we've got a entry level Kenwood radio in there. We've also got focal speakers at the top. And there are currently no speakers, no Saab, no amplification in the car. Obviously, in terms of functionality, we're going to be getting rid of that phone holder and we're going to be upgrading the actual unit itself down at the bottom. Bit of a run through over some of the products that we've got going in. Start off then with the head unit, the Halo 9. Really, really nice unit featuring Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Then we're going to be adding in a small little sub that the client supplied. In terms of the speakers, we're going to be adding a four inch Audison Prima coaxial speaker down on top of the dashboard then the prima five inch coaxials behind the seats and those speakers are going to be powered by this the audison sr4 so 520 watts class d amplification so it's quite quite small compact amp that's going to be mounted in behind this area here but we'll be sharing the whole journey we'll join a little bit later after the inspection's done we had a bit of a listen to it and then we'll be starting by stripping the car down I'm really getting started on this install. So let's have a little bit more of an update about what we've got there going on. So the carbon seats have been fully removed and we've got the back panel removed as well. So what we're gonna be doing here is a little bit of fabrication and mounting the sub and amp down into the middle, speakers on either side in the rear. And then what we've got going in here is replacement of that unit, the big nine inch touchscreen in there featuring Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. But there's a hell of a lot more work to do. We've got to get these speakers out from on top of the dashboard, upgrade those, add that amplification in, and then also get powers from everywhere, which we'll show you later on in the video. But also in the boot, we've got the lithium battery, which is mounted on the side. That is on charge at the moment, keeping everything topped up while we're working on the vehicle. So yeah, we've got a lot more to do. I'm going to show you a bit more about the radio next and show you what that looks like. And then we'll dive a little bit more into the fabrication side of things when we're actually putting the amplifier and sub and new speakers behind that rear shelf and upgrading those ones on top of the dash. Here's a little bit of a sneak preview of the unit going in. I mean, how good does that look? Obviously, the stickers will be coming off, but that is a nine inch screen. Yes, it does block the vent slightly, but they can still operate and work. And obviously you can twist them so they are blowing our air out and to the sides. But yeah, that is the new unit inside, into mounted into the actual panel work, into a cage. We've actually bolted these in, so it's really nice and stable. The other thing we're gonna be doing is obviously in terms of this unit. So this unit features Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. This is all gonna be bolted now into the vehicle. So there's still a lot more work to do, but I thought I'd just show you this, because that's quite a cool little thing that we've been able to do there to give you a really nice flush look feel. And when you're inside that vehicle, you're gonna have a massive nine inch screen to be able to add and really enjoy that user experience inside the vehicle. So you might be thinking, what have we got going on here? This is where the amplifier is gonna be mounted. The amplifier that we're using is something called an SR4.300. So it's a four channel amp that's gonna be running fully active four speakers in the vehicle. What we've got, we've actually cut out a little hole here. This is yet to be finished off, but what we've got is a five inch Audison Prima speaker going in behind the scenes. So these are all visible parts on the install. They're gonna be hidden behind the seats pretty much, but you will have the actual grills visible, which will show you in the finished results. Plus you've got the amplifier that's gonna be mounted there. In terms of the speaker itself, what have we got? The Audison Prima set, which is a five inch speaker, coaxial design. So the tweeter is built into the cone itself, but these are gonna be mounted into that hole there. And then you're gonna see the grill. The amplifier itself, the reason why we fabricate this panel is just because we like to make everything neat and tidy behind the scenes, but also visible to customers. So the way it's designed is the amplifier is going to be mounted onto the backboard. And then this little pocket is going to hide all of the wiring. So everything is inch perfect, nice and neat and tidy, because that is going to be visible in between the two seats when the car is put back together, which we'll show you as soon as we're done. One really important thing as well, this plastic panel is incredibly 
flimsy. So what we've actually managed to do is support that using the Skins 3mm soundproofing. We've applied an acoustic deadening to all of the behind the scenes here, and that builds a better acoustic environment for the new speakers to work in. Obviously, you've got a lot more power going to the system with the new four channel amplifier that we're running. So there's gonna be a lot more sound waves bouncing around behind there. So we need to build the best acoustic environment we possibly could, and that's exactly what we've achieved. So what have we actually got going on with more soundproofing down here? We've manipulated these into small strips and then laying the footwell and also the base of the vehicle with the soundproofing. Again, reducing road noise, rattles, resonation and building a better environment for this new system to work in. In terms of the wiring, what have we got going on here? This is all for the new hedge unit. So we'll show you when it's all mounted and in, but this is for the Alpine Halo 9. So Apple CarPlay, nine inch touchscreen, Android Auto, you name it, everything you possibly need all live in one place. On top of the dashboard, as you can see here, we've run oxygen free cabling, connection grade wiring, and then that is all mounted, gonna be mounted with a four inch Audison Prima speaker on top of the dashboard. One thing to note as a little tip, if you are working on one of these, or if you haven't ever seen one of these before, this panel here covers your airbag. These have one time use clips, so make sure you get hold of them. We've already got hold of them, so as soon as this car's ready to go back together, they'll be replaced. So like everything, everything is done to the highest possible installation standards. And next up, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, because next up, we also have another Lotus over there that is having a sound system after this one. So it's a bit of a Lotus a couple of weeks we've got in the workshop. But later on, I'm going to be showing you the finished results and showing you how everything looks, the functionality that we've added and having a listen to it. So we're all wrapped up, another install complete. And honestly, it's been an absolute privilege and honor to be working on another very special car. I mean, just look how cool this car looks. Absolutely bonkers. And obviously this owner loves his car and that's why he's coming to us for what we've done. I'm going to be jumping in the car, showing you exactly exactly what we've done showing you every little detail as you've seen earlier on in the video but i just want to show you something just from this side cosmetically how it looks from the outside of the car obviously as you can see there wireless car play which i'll go through in a short bit but yeah it just looks so good so obviously on top of those dash you've got the new speakers the order sealed speakers behind here i'll try to get a shot of it because you won't be able to see it when i'm inside the car but hidden in between the two seats you've got a custom amplifier rack there so all the wires are all hidden but that's the Audison SR4 and then we've got new speakers behind the seats which I'll show you shortly but yeah over the moon with the final results our team have absolutely smashed it out and we've also got some lovely pictures of this car to send over to the client just for future but honestly it's been an absolute honor and let's jump in now and I'll show you uh, I'm not going to film myself getting in it because it's not the most elegant thing to do but I'll jump in and show you exactly what we've done so now we're very unelegantly jumped into the vehicle. We are going to be walking around exactly what we've done and also showing you the final finished results. I mean, to start with the showstopper, this, the brand new Alpine touchscreen. I mean, how good does that look? Really modernizes the interior. It's such a lovely place to be now. So on the unit, what I'm going to be showing you is I've got another iPhone here. It's a full wireless connectivity we've got apple carplay i mean how cool is this so you literally got your volume control everything you could possibly need right here in one place also if i show you behind here the vents themselves all still operate we've directed them out of the side of the unit so they're still working and we're operating perfectly and then we've got the vents on the side obviously still performing as they were obviously being inside this vehicle just sat here i mean i've got my phone pretty much where kind of what eye level is and it just looks absolutely incredible in terms of this lovely new setup what we've got here I and mean, let's actually just listen to something i mean so the new system i'll go through in a bit but let's have a listen to this i've been hearing symphonies before i heard was silence a rhapsody for you and me and every melody is timeless Life was stringing me along Then you came and you cut me loose Was solo singing on my own Now I can't find a key without you And now your song is on
So I don't know how well that's coming across on, on video, but honestly, it's such a transformation of sound. So when the car came into us, it had a single DIN unit, as you saw in earlier on in the video, and it just had those focal speakers on top of the dash. These have now been upgraded to the Audison Prima range, and then right behind the seats, you can just about see the grill there. That is an Audison Prima five inch speaker. And in between the seats, if we can just about get a shot of that, that is the Audison SR4.300. You can see the Alcantara part just poking in at the bottom. And then right underneath here, our client actually supplied us with the Kenwood Class D amplification and subwoofer solution. This is quite nice and fits into there. Your feet can rest on there. It doesn't take up too much room and it gives you that added depth. But the sound with the amplifier, you can really sit here and enjoy it. You've got obviously, I don't know how well that came across on camera, but honestly, it's lovely in here. It's not too over the top and there are bigger systems we can do on these. But the nicest thing about this whole setup is there's not one cable visible. I mean, we've actually run a hell of a lot of cables through this center tunnel. I mean, look how thin that is, but look how neat everything is. Everything completely hidden out of sight. Yeah, overall, I'm over the moon with it. It sounds lovely, and now it's time for our client to enjoy it. <laughs> 